Hi, this is Powell with a visual basic exercise from uh, the chapter 6. This is an exercise from the uh, exercise 28. We will be writing a program that requests a whole number greater than 1 and uh, we will uh, that will be the input and factors it into the product of a prime numbers. Now number is prime if it's only f uh, only factors are one and itself all right so uh, in other words it, not, it is not divisible by any other number we are given uh, a flowchart of the program uh, we will start the program obviously we will get the number that is greater than one now we will set the f as for factor uh, we'll start with two because again we don't have to start with one because that's obvious so we start with two and then we will go into a loop uh, it will ask is n greater than one and if it's if it is then uh, we will ask uh, does it f the factor divide by n in other words is there any uh, is the product of these numbers uh, or the mod of this number zero is there any reminder of the division if it if it, there is no uh, 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 reminder then we'll go and increase the factor by, by one in other words it now will equal to three if it is then we have a uh, uh, we will display the number the, the factor and we will set the nu number our new number will now equal the product of uh, or the division of n uh, divided by f and then we will loop again and we will ask is n now still greater than one and we will be looping as long as n is greater than 1 this loop will continue once uh, n equals or is less than 1 we will come over here to this uh, this branch and we will quit, quit the program now the, uh, the flowchart was given to us uh, you know it's part of the exercise so uh, I didn't make this up so we will simply follow the flowchart I already made the form it's a simple uh, output uh, a list box text box is for the input here we will enter the number click the button and calculate the the factors so uh, let's just uh, double click that uh, here's the uh, assignment again I, I already typed it over here and uh, now we can uh, simply start coding following the uh, following the flowchart so first we need to get the number so in order for us to do it uh, we will need to declare a variable we will call it number it's gonna be an integer and it will equal to the uh, whatever the user inputs into the text box I named the text box text input so the user enters the number over here we will convert it to an integer and assign it to our number so that's the first step from the from the flowchart now uh, we get the the factor and we start with with the uh, factor equals to 2 and then with each iteration of the loop we will increase that or decrease uh, like, yeah we will increase it if uh, if it comes to this branch we will increase it by 1 if it comes to this branch we will simply s uh, set a new number okay so uh, Um, one thing I want to do before uh, to do an output into the list box so I will do the items that add and it will simply say the prime factors of and it's the number that's the number that the user entered so the prime factors of let's say I enter two three four five so it say the prime factors of two three four five and over here I will say R and then we will list them uh, within the loop now again the loop will be looping as long as the number is greater than one so uh, what we can simply do is while number is greater than one that's the condition for the loop and if you look at uh, the next step we will come over here 
is uh, does f divide n? In other words, is there any reminder? So we will simply do if the number and mod, that's the, uh, the reminder of the factor, which I forgot to actually see, I skipped the step. Before we go to the loop, we have to set the factor to two. So um, uh, over here, well, I will do another integer, I'll call it factor as integer equals to two. So now we satisfied the first two steps. We got the number from the user and we set the factor to two. Now we are in the loop and asking if the number is greater than one. And if it is, then we will ask if the uh, f divided uh, it n gives you uh, a mod of zero. In other words, if, if there's no reminder so if the number mod factor equals zero, in other words, there is no reminder, then again, we come over here, uh, we come over here. If it is true, then we will display the factor in our list box and we will set the number to a new value. So we will, uh, our output list box, and we will add and we will add the factor uh, again this is simply following the flow chart we will display f and now let's set n to n divided by f so our new number will equal to number divided by factor that's our new number now if there is a reminder so it's the else branch then we will simply increase f by one and loop again. So our factor plus equals one. And then we come over here and ask again, all right, so now after this, uh, after we assign new number, is this number still greater than one? Yeah, okay, so let's come over here, check this condition. If it is true, then we will output it, output the factor and assign a new value to a number and if it is uh, false, then our factor will now be increased by one. So when we start with two, now it will equal three. It comes over here, uh, and again, uh, now the factor equals three. So the number is still the same divided by uh, now three. Is there a division? Is there a reminder of zero? Yes, no, and it keeps uh, looping. And this is the this is the. Uh, line that guarantees that the loop will end because we are uh, dividing number divided by factor and factor it keeps increasing so the number is getting smaller and smaller so at some point this condition will become false the number will not be greater than one anymore and that's when the loop ends uh, and that's basically where the whole uh, uh, whole program ends okay so let's uh, let's test that All right, so uh, I'll do the two, three, four, five, which is the number uh, from the textbook and the prime factors of two, three, four, five are five, seven and 67, which is which are the numbers uh, that the textbook provides as well. So uh, that seems to be working. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a simple loop with a condition inside. The one thing to remember is that the loop must have a condition somewhere in there within the body that guarantees that it will exit at some point. That at some point the number will not be greater than one. In our case, it's this. We will assign the new number uh, as a the, the result of the division number divided by whatever the factor is at that time. Again, uh, most of the time we will come to this uh, uh, because the, the, the most of the time there will be some kind of a product, some uh, some reminder. So this condition will be false. So it comes to else and simply keeps increasing the factor. And uh, with ever increasing factor, uh, the number over here will be getting smaller and smaller. So uh, hope it helped you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.